As 2016 draws to a close, drought is the subject of numerous headlines across the southeast, and the Savannah River Basin is no better off than the rest of the region. Although recent rainfall has provided some relief, the dry ground has claimed most of the water, and Hartwell and Thurman remain more than 10 feet below summer full pool. What may not be apparent is that this drought began long before lake levels reflected the problem. It took nearly a year of sustained dry conditions to get where we are now. The last three months of 2015 brought so much rain, we had to send water through the Thurman floodgates to prevent overtopping. Our drought began the very next month, in January of 2016, when the basin received only 79% of normal rainfall. While not unusual, it got worse from there. Every month but August was below average, and five of those months received less than 50% of average. For the first time in the basin's records, we received less than an inch of rainfall in two consecutive months, September and October. To put that into perspective, in a single October day last year, Hartwell received six times more rain than the entire month of October this year. We're currently sitting at a 26-inch rain deficit for the year at Hartwell. That's nearly half of what's considered normal. The most severe rain deficits were observed in the last three months, leaving the ground like a dry sponge. The lingering question now is, will we recover to full pools for the recreation season? Although we'll leave the weather predictions to the National Weather Service, what we can tell you are the conditions necessary for recovery. One or two moderate rain events a month won't do it. Neither will numerous small rain events. The key to recovery is high intensity rainfall. It took a year of dry weather for soils to reach their current dry conditions. Improvement will take much longer if rain occurs gradually because the ground has time to soak up runoff. We need regular, high intensity rainfall events to maintain ground saturation for recovery. If we don't receive several high intensity rainfall events each month in the next six months, chances are the 2016 drought will extend to another year. Regardless of what 2017 brings, a return to sustained, normal rainfall is the key to recovery.